Hello everyone, what's up? My name is Bilo Ridwan Olamiji from Rivers Media and guess what we'll be doing today? We'll be creating an amazing flyer design using oil paint effect without using oil paint filter in Photoshop. But before we dive into the tutorial, I will implore you guys to like, share and subscribe to this channel and also turn on your post notifications so you can get notified whenever I drop my amazing tutorials. So let's dive into Photoshop and create magic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah guys, so we are in the world of Photoshop and we'll be creating our amazing flyer designs. And this is the subject we'll be using. It was downloaded on Pexels. And also we'll be using this color combination in creating our color in our design. So let's create a new canvas. And I'll be using 1080 by 1080 because this will be uploaded on Instagram. And my resolution is 100 and color mode is RGB. So I'm going to create that. So now the next thing to do is to bring my subjects to Photoshop to be I'll be creating it sorry so I have to scale it down so yeah this is okay so now now the next thing to do is to duplicate my subjects and drag it down I did then we'll be creating the oil paint filter without using oil paint oh sorry oil paint effect without using oil paint filter on my subject here so now the next thing to do here is to come to filter then come to stylize and use diffuse and make sure you are picking anisotropic and that will be okay and you can see if you zoom in you'll be seeing that we have this effect on my subject face so the next thing to do here is to create the filter again but i'll be using it on this part so i'm going to rotate my subject so how do i do that come to image image rotation 90 degree clockwise so we're going to in apply the filter again so rotate once more apply the filter i'm going to do this like five times So now, now we are through with the application of the filter. So we want to sharpen our subject face. Now, the, the was if you check closely, it is done already. So now the next thing to do, I'm, on, I'm going to sharpen the face of my subject and I'm going to come to stylize, sorry, sharpen on sharpen mask. So increase it to around 100. So you can see that the face is a bit sharper than before. So I'm going to enhance it a bit and I'm using camera raw filter. So I'm going to increase my texture. And I'll increase the clarity also. Increase my DAs. And give it a bit light to make it more brightened. Then the contrast, then increase my vibrance a bit. So I'm going to click OK. Then I have the filter more sharpened on my subject face. And the next thing to do here is to duplicate this. Now, I'll be creating a posterized effect on this, my subject, in order to create my color range, my color effect range on the face. So the next thing to do here is to come to filter and I'll pick in filter gallery so you can see i have my underpainting and i have my post poster edges and my posterization is one then for my underpainting relief is relief is two and my scaling is 50 and i'm going to press ok so that is it for that so now now you can see that we have different shades on my subject face and i'm going to use i'm going to be creating different those different shades with different colors 
So I have to separate these colors so that I can paint the face properly. And how do I do that? I'm going to come to channel and I'll be picking the channel whereby the color is more contrasting and I'll be using my red channel. So I'm going to duplicate it by dragging it down, then Ctrl L to create more contrast and so to make the, the colors more clearer so that my separation can be more effective. So, so let me brighten it a bit. I think this is okay. Yeah, I feel this is okay. So, the next thing to do is start separating the colors according to how I have it here. You see, can see I have white, I have a bit dark, a light tone, then I have another one, then I have the darker tone here. So now, the next thing to do is to come back to my RGB channel and come back to my layer. Oh, sorry, come back to my channel, come here, and also come to select and pick color range so i'll be selecting each color so i'll be first thing i'll, I'll select the white part so this will be selected and i'll come back here pick it then select my quick selection tool and separate by cop copy it so i have this done if you can check i have this now selected out yeah so i'm going to use this i'm going to do this process again So I'm selecting the lighter part also again. So you can see this is also selected. This is also selected as you can see. So the next part again, click, come to your channel, come here. So select color range. So I'll be picking these other parts. Okay. So this is the last part what we're doing next. Channel select. So we'll be selecting the darker select color range. Pick this. So copy layer of your copy yes so now if you have to turn on everything and take this away you can see we still have the effect so all i just did here is that i have created different layers for different color tones on the body so now with this i can create different colors with different color tones and this is how i'm going to do it so i'm going to hide this and i'm going to drag in my color that i have here i'm going to drag in everything here So I'm going to take this up. So I'll be inserting, I'll be filling the tones with different colors that I have here. So now the first one is to pick like this. So this is the lighter part of what we have before if you had to check. This part is the lighter part. So, so I'll be picking the lighter part. Sorry, this is the darker part, not the lighter part. So I'm working on the lighter part for which is this. So I'm going to press Ctrl, select the thumbnail, brush, select this light part, but I'm going to increase the brightness a bit. And also the saturation will be reduced. So out the leads. So this is filled already. Ctrl D to deselect. So I'm going to create on this part also. Ctrl select the thumbnail. Select the color you're filling it with. Alt and click. So I'll be press, I'll be pressing Alt delete. Ctrl D to deselect. So on this part also. So 
I'm going to select this what color I'll be using. Select all the leads. So I have the color on it. Ctrl D. And for my last part, so I'll be picking this and I'll be using out delete. Ctrl D. So now I have the color selected on my subject face like this. So this is the colors I'll be using. Let me take this up and see. Yes, I love it like this. So I can hide my colors. So let me reduce the fill for these a bit. Yes. So I'm going to group everything together and name it color. I'll bring this in and I'll bring this also in. So for this, this effect will be overlaid on the layer that is under here. And also my color, they also will be overlaid. So the, the fill will be reduced. And also my fill here also will be reviewed. And also my opacity also will be reduced. So now, the next thing to do here, now I'm through with the creation of all paint effect and also the posterize effect on my subject. So the next thing to do here is to start the design of the flyer. And what I'm going to do here is to create a new background using one of the color, yeah, this color, solid, so I'm going to pick this. So I this back, so I can take away my colors, or oh, let me see I them. take Group them together and hide. So delete this, and you can also delete this. I feel I don't need it anymore. So now the next thing to do now is to bring in my text type tool that I'll be creating. But before creating my text tools, I'm going to create a pattern on this background. So I'm going to create another layer. Turn on my colors because that's where I'll be picking my colors from. Not these, my three colors. So now. The first thing to do is to pick the darker shades, which is this, and hide everything again. So now come here, and the brush I'll be using here is a round, rough round Bristol brush, which is on Legacy brush under thick, heavy brushes under Legacy brushes. So now I'm going to create my pattern. Make sure your opacity is 100 and your flow is 100. So I'm going to draw. You can create your pattern the way you want it. This is where I want my pattern. That's where I'm creating it. So now this is the first part. So I'm going to create another layer on top. Sorry, under. So turn on which color I want to fill it with again. Not this. So I'll be using this either. Yeah, I'll be using this. I'm going to select hide so create the pattern again you can do this the way you want it doesn't have to be sorry ctrl z it doesn't have to be exact the way i've created it does not make it that it looks okay and beautiful to see so so now the next pattern i'll be creating we still go under so it will be lighter shades of this one so i'm going to Come to my brightness, increase, and my saturation reduced, and increase my brightness a bit, and reduce also my saturation. Yeah, now I'm going to create the effect again, as you can see. Sorry. So now I've created this my pattern. It might look raw, it might not look unique. So now, yeah, Ctrl G, sorry, Ctrl G by grouping it and I'll write brush pattern or pattern. Pattern. So now this pattern will be changed to soft lights and will be reduced a bit like this on under like this. 
yes is okay now the next thing is to bring out bring in my text so i'll be using white let me change it to you so that will be on top of my color layer so i'm going to type in dominion but i'm going to break it into two so i'll press me that's the first thing and i'm going to enlarge it then duplicate it again just drag it down by holding your heart and shift key so i'm going to neon i'm going to drag it a bit to fill this part yeah on both sides so i have my dominion sorry sorry not dominion i've forgotten sorry is dominate yeah so that's it select both and drag it up then i'm going to create the brush layer on top of this and i'll be using red pick my color red come to my saturation okay brightness reduce the brightness this is okay and pick my brush b and paint feel like this is not okay just lead to reduce my brush and paint again yeah this is okay now so the next thing i'll do is to duplicate my text layer and drag it up reduce it put it here i'm going to be writing season two So I'll be reducing it a bit. Yeah. So centralized. So everything here should be centralized. And aligned. Yeah, that's okay. So now I'll be using another font to write the name of my subjects. So your do. Sam so also going to increase that like that so I'm going to change the font to a signature font so I'll be using black signature which is this so i'll be using capital p instead of small p yeah and capital y yeah that's okay so i'm going to also drag it to the center like this yeah so i'm going to select everything group them all right texts so drag them down like this the center yes now control T and skew either bit yeah yeah click and scale also make it a bit bigger like that so drag it up like this so now we're almost done so create another layer and create a shape layer and draw your rectangle straight like this and i'll be changing the color to a darker shade of whatever i have here increase it a bit increase the saturation let me reduce the yes this is okay 
in my fonts that I'll be using I'll be using objective I'll be using objective okay yeah I'll be using regular so I'm gonna pick that and I'm going to write anticipate everything capital letter and bring it to the center of my flyer yes now increase it a bit so I'm going to increase the tracking more than what I have so too much I think it's okay like this yeah so I'm going to select this and notch it down like this yeah so we are almost done with our fly here so the next thing to do here is to bring in my texture that I'll be placing on top of my flyer yeah so I'll look for my texture so yeah so I'm going to place it inside yeah and this will be increased like this then the color mode will be changed to multiply and the fee will be reduced also my opacity will be reduced so I'll be leaving it like this so yeah we have my color sorry my pattern I'm going to increase my pattern a bit yeah I'm going to increase it a bit yeah like this so let me reduce my the opacity of my texture yeah so let me zoom out so this is it now I'm through with the flyer already so the next thing I want to do here is to match everything together come to filter I want to enhance it now and I'll come to what camera or filter so I'm going to do some little enhancement to my flyer just to make it a bit sharper and bright increase the contrast increase my to around 0 0.1 or 0 0.15 like this increase the texture a bit and also increase the clarity like that and the vibrance here yeah, increase it like this the next thing my details increase the sharpen yes I'm true and I'm going to press ok now you will see the difference what I have before and what I have now you can see so now I'm going to in reduce the few and match again then the next thing is to come to filter sharpen on sharpen mask now we'll be reducing the radius to around 1.5 yes and also reduce this yeah and that's all you can see yes this is what we'll be having so thank you guys for staying and watching this awesome tutorial don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your post notification so you can get notified when i upload a new tutorial thank you for staying thank you very much and don't forget to share this tutorial thank you see you next time thank you so much